The rise of Walmart from a single store in rural Arkansas to a global retail empire is a remarkable story of business strategy, innovation, and leadership. Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, turned his vision for a cost-effective retail experience into a multinational corporation by understanding customer needs, embracing technology, and implementing a series of strategic innovations. Let's break down how Walton's approach transformed Walmart into the world's largest retailer. 1. Early Beginnings – Discount Store Vision Walmart Super Inflation Buster Sale blasts through the inflation barrier with big discount savings on hundreds of everyday items, like Conair's Lots of Curls Curling Iron, now just $3.93. Sam Walton opened the first Walmart in Rogers, Arkansas in 1962 with a vision to bring affordable goods to small-town America. Walton was already a successful retailer, having run several Ben Franklin variety stores, where he refined his ideas about pricing and efficiency. Key to his strategy was focusing on small, rural towns that were typically ignored by larger retailers. Walton believed that even in rural areas, customers wanted a wide selection of goods at affordable prices. His insight was that if he could lower costs, especially by securing lower wholesale prices, he could attract more customers through high volume, low margin sales. Second key principles that fueled growth, Sam Walton's leadership was built on several foundational principles that set Walmart apart. Everyday low prices, EDLP. Walton popularized the concept of selling items at consistently low prices rather than relying on promotions and discounts. This ensured customers would always find value and not have to wait for sales. Supply chain and logistics efficiency. Walton knew that controlling costs would be vital to maintaining low prices. He heavily invested in logistics, including an in-house distribution system that allowed Walmart to restock stores quickly and efficiently, reducing storage costs. By the 1970s, Walmart was one of the first companies to invest in a private satellite network, which linked stores and warehouses enabling real-time communication and inventory tracking. Expansion strategy. Rather than growing Walmart in large competitive markets, Walton pursued an outward-in approach by first saturating small towns before moving into larger cities. This strategy allowed Walmart to gain a foothold without facing direct competition from other established retailers, which primarily targeted urban areas. 3. Growth and innovation in the 1970s and 1980s. The 1970s and 1980s were decades of explosive growth for Walmart, fueled by a combination of aggressive expansion, strategic cost control, and innovations in technology. By 1970, Walmart had 18 stores and went public, raising capital for further expansion. By 1980, Walmart had reached 276 stores with revenues of $1.2 billion. Walton was a visionary in recognizing how technology could transform retail. Walmart was one of the first retailers to invest heavily in barcode scanning technology and computerized inventory management, helping the company improve efficiency and reduce costs. This early adoption gave Walmart a significant competitive edge. Vendor partnerships. Walton fostered close relationships with suppliers, allowing Walmart to negotiate better prices and maintain its low-cost strategy. He also pushed suppliers to improve their efficiency as Walmart would share sales and inventory data with them, allowing for more streamlined manufacturing and distribution processes. Culture and employee engagement. Walton understood the importance of creating a strong company culture. He referred to employees as associates and created a profit sharing plan that allowed employees to own shares in the company. This not only incentivized employees, but also helped Walmart maintain its low-cost structure by reducing turnover and improving operational efficiency. 4. Walmart's transformation into a national and global powerhouse By the 1990s, Walmart had become the largest retailer in the U.S., surpassing competitors like Kmart and Sears. Key factors during this time included super centers, Walmart expanded beyond just general merchandise by introducing Walmart Supercenters, which combined grocery stores and general retail under one roof. This move was crucial in competing with grocery chains and big box retailers like Target. The first Supercenter was opened in 1988 
and these stores quickly became the cornerstone of Walmart's growth strategy, offering one-stop shopping convenience. International Expansion In the early 1990s, Walmart took its low-price philosophy abroad. Its first international store opened in Mexico in 1991 through a joint venture with Cifra. The success of this venture encouraged further international expansion into countries such as Canada, China, the United Kingdom, and Germany. Despite some challenges in certain markets, e.g. Germany and South Korea, Walmart became a global retail force with over 11,000 stores in 27 countries by 2020. Five, challenges and adaptation in the 21st century. As Walmart became a dominant force in retail, it faced growing challenges. Some of the major issues included criticism over labor practices, backlash from local communities regarding store openings and pressure from environmental groups. Yet Walmart continued to innovate and adapt to the changing landscape of retail, e-commerce and technology. With the rise of e-commerce giants like Amazon, Walmart made significant investments in its online retail platform. In 2016, Walmart acquired Jet.com for $3.3 billion, a key move in bolstering its online presence. Walmart has since integrated its e-commerce and physical retail operations through innovations like Walmart Plus, a subscription service offering delivery and other benefits to compete with Amazon Prime. Sustainability initiatives, responding to environmental criticism, Walmart began investing in sustainability initiatives, including reducing waste, improving energy efficiency, and expanding the availability of eco-friendly products. Focus on data and analytics. Walmart has continued to harness the power of data analytics to stay ahead of consumer trends, manage inventory more effectively, and improve the customer shopping experience. Conclusion. Sam Walton's vision, leadership, and innovative strategies laid the foundation for Walmart's extraordinary rise. From a single store in Arkansas, Walmart grew into a global retail giant by staying true to its core principles of providing value through low prices, operational efficiency, and technological innovation. Even after Walton's death in 1992, Walmart's leadership has continued to embrace these values, ensuring its place as a dominant force in the retail industry. Walmart's journey from local to global is a testament to Walton's belief in doing business better, faster, and cheaper. A philosophy that not only changed retail, but also transformed how businesses think about scaling operations across the globe. If you've liked this video today, then don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the No Aim, No Gain YouTube channel for every video is a step closer to your goals.